Hey y'all, we're in Florida today and it's so warm. It's a little cloudy today, but feels good. We've had some cold weather where we've been lately. And, and of course, you know, if, if we're out here and we're walking and we've got sunglasses on, we don't have any makeup on. That's why we got sunglasses on. It's not a pretty sight and you don't need to see it. Whoa, somebody's got their radio up loud. Anyway, um, I, I've just been thinking about um, something that I, oh, I'm gonna step on ants. Um, had something on my mind and I wanted to share it with y'all today. You know, so I always have to make lists, you know, and then I forget where I put my list, so then I forget everything. So I was thinking about not forgetting and how, how it is that um, God has not forgotten us. You know, I think about my friend that has cancer and uh, how that cancer has just destroyed the body. And you know, maybe my friend thinks, has God forgotten me? Has God forgotten where I'm at, where I live? What, what about the family who, who don't know? They don't know where their next meal's coming from. These are real things. I mean, all of us eat all the time. And so, but there are people who wonder, are they gonna have a place to sleep or a place to go and eat? Are they gonna have any food? Do they get to even take a bath? You know, and I, I worry about these things and, and I worry about them and what they're thinking. And if they think, has God forgotten them? You know what, God has not forgotten any of us. Not one of us. He loves us all. I mean, He knows where we're at. He knows, he knows how many leaves are on that tree. He knows the number of hairs on our head. He knows uh, how many stars are in the sky. He knows all of that. And nothing separates us from Him. You know the scripture that says, neither life nor death nor principalities nor powers nor things in the present or future and, and past. You know, you know that scripture. He has not forgotten us. He has not forgotten you. He knows where you're at. He knows what you're going through. And He hears our prayers. He hears us today. So I just encourage you to ask God specifically for what you need and wait and see if He does not answer your prayer. I'm so thankful that we have a God that loves us. And I'm not preaching today. I'm just saying I woke up thinking how thankful I am that God knows me, He knows where I am at, He knows what I'm going through, and um, I should be more thankful, thankful to the God that we serve who takes care of every need. He, he holds us right there in the palm of His hand. He holds us, and I'm so thankful for that. And I want you to know today that whatever you are going through, God has not forgotten you either.